The Doberman is a glorious dog, a beautiful dog with a fascinating history. And in today's video, I wanna talk about some amazing facts about the Doberman that you might not already be aware of. Welcome back to my Doberman show and in today's video, yes, we're going to look at some amazing facts about the Doberman. So I'm really excited to pass you over to one of my breed experts who's going to break those down for you right now. Number one, there are actually two types, sort of. Now, whenever a breed's popularity becomes so great that canine globalization occurs, you're left with inevitable conflict. Whilst the country of origin quite fairly claims ownership of the breed and its development, other countries who adopt its offspring also stake a claim in the breed, as it becomes theirs as much as anyone else's. This is the case for the Doberman Pinscher. Germany made the breed, but, it could be argued, America made it what it is today. As a result of their mutual distaste for each other's breed examples, the national lines started to diverge further and further, with the Eurotype maintaining its thick muscle mass and fierce working drive, and the US type becoming progressively leaner, smaller, and more refined with a more gentle and mellow disposition. They are still recognized as the same dog by all official bodies, but the difference is so noticeable that many have called for them to be recognized as two separate dogs, as was the case with the American Cocker Spaniel as distinct from the English original. The distinction between Euro and US Dobie lines, whilst entirely unofficial as it stands, finds itself reflected in the way we spell Doberman across the globe. Number two, we spell its name wrong routinely. The Doberman, as many of you are no doubt already aware, takes its name from a German tax collector from the 19th century who pioneered the breed. His name was Louis Doberman, and that's the German spelling of the German name Doberman with two N's. In Germany and various other countries around the world, the breed name retains its two N's and it's free from its pincher suffix. In the US and several other countries, they are of course the Doberman pincher, with one N and with pincher being the German word for terrier tacked on, despite the fact that the Doberman is anything but a terrier. Even though anti-German sentiment was inevitably rife in the mid 20th century due to World War II, the US breed kept this name, the German appendage, that was neither accurate linguistically nor in terms of working type. The reappropriation of the name and reformulation of the breed phenotype might well have been the Americans' way of expressing their distaste for the Germans, in lieu of extricating themselves from the undeniably extraordinary working breed that was the Doberman. It's just a theory, but this way they could keep the breed without aligning themselves with the enemy. In practice, just be aware that there are two accepted spellings, though the degree of acceptance does vary. And number three, they have world-class brains. Doby enthusiasts will be utterly unsurprised to hear that their bosom breed is one of the smartest dogs on earth. Famed canine psychologist Stanley Corrin conducted some iconic research in the 90s that had a number of experts rank a wide range of popular breeds in terms of their working intelligence. With Afghan hounds tragically at the bottom of the list and Border Collies unsurprisingly in the number one spot, we find Doberman Pinchers above 74 other breeds in position number five. The research had the breeds ranked in terms of speed of skill learning and amenability to following direction from a handler. So we can say quite confidently that these dogs are not just clever, but obedient and keen learners, perfect for anyone looking to compete in obedience or raise a highly skilled working dog. Such a stellar brain can lead to independence of thought and an excessive demand for enrichment though, so do be warned. There's a danger that your doby pup is ready to outsmart you one day, and if any breed is capable of doing so, it's him. So guys, I hope you enjoyed those amazing facts about the Doberman. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here. We make videos like this about the Doberman every single week to help make sure that you're able to have the perfect Doberman of your dreams. And we'll see you on the next episode.